He was a single dad from Vallejo looking to make his next big move and support his son. So the t-shirt buddy was born and has taken over the internet. Joining us now with more on his journey is Ruben Oriel. Ruben, thank you so much for joining us on Live. Thank you for having me. For those of our guests who may not know, what is the t-shirt buddy? It's it's an apparel printing business that I've now turned into a, a, a content creation mm-hmm. a business as well. So I, not only do I get to print apparel for people, I get to travel and shoot content about the t-shirt business, how to start one, how to mm-hmm. be successful, how to scale one. So that's what it's become. And how did you first get into this business and realize that this is my next move, this is what I have to do? It was COVID. So, I mean... I've been in the music industry kind of my whole life, and music and merch go hand in hand. So when COVID hit and I lost my job, the first thing I knew to get back to was merch. Mm -hmm. And so I asked around. I wanted to print my own line. Nobody wanted to help me out. So I said, no, I'm going to take my savings, take every penny I have, and buy my own equipment. And in doing so, I just started shooting content. And really, there was a friend of mine. His name is Stress from a group called The Federation. Mm -hmm. And um, so Stress has this dog called Dan. Right, and so we just we, we put a gold grill, a gold chain on Dan. I shot my first piece of content, and that's really what got what got noticed. And because of the dog, I'm I'm here. And well, here you are, successful <laughs> now. You have your own T-shirt company. Um, when, when it comes to your son, because I would love to emphasize this part of your story, a single dad here raising your son during COVID. This is when this business was born. But how does he play into the mix? Because he's such a big part of your business. Well, you know, I, I think for me is. He, he, he's the biggest motivation behind it. So I attach my goals and everything to him, you know, so I have to be successful. But in, in, in adding him to the concept, I think well, because I'm a single dad, raising him, um, I don't have, and he's four. Mm-hmm. So obviously I have him the majority of the time and he's in my content all the time. So I don't get to kind of pick and choose when I shoot it. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to shoot it with him in there. I think that's more of a, trying to, trying to be transparent and showing what my life really is. I'm a guy in a who started in a, in a garage in, a, in a, an apartment now with a four-year-old shooting content. He's part of this. And then having him be a part of my content, like these companies know who he is, mm-hmm. you know. and um, He's blown up, really. Yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> really, he's really the star of everything, you know. And so, yeah, yeah but it's, 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 uh, it allows me to spend that time with him, too. Mm-hmm. You know, have him next to me, which is something I didn't get to do when I was working a nine-to-five. I have other children. And not being able to be a part of their life and, and events and things like that, I vowed that when... COVID was over, I was still going to be an entrepreneur, a t-shirtpreneur, mm-hmm. and so it allowed me the freedom to spend time with him, uh, to, I, I just enjoy him, I enjoy him being part of my content. Ah, that's so incredible, yeah. I love hearing that. Now let's talk about the product yes. that you brought, yes. I'm very excited to show our viewers <laughs> this, let's start over here first, these are some incredible socks, can you, you tell us a little bit more about these? Yeah, so this is a company I use called Silky Socks. Um, this is the athletic sock. And so I released a new sublimation paper, uh, dye sublimation. And the only way to get these prints on these socks is by using sublimation paper. And so I went to your IG. Yeah. Uh, first off, I love your story. I love Thank that you. you share that beautiful uh, marriage you guys have. So I said, you know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make her some socks with yeah. you and your husband. With and that's me and how my this husband, was. which yes. I want to show our incredible viewers here. Look at how yes. beautiful this is. Oh my goodness! Awesome, love that. Yes. So this is so this is one certain line, right? This Once, is a certain line. It is, yeah, yeah. And so I, I, in doing so, um, I created my own sublimation paper. That's the only way to print onto these socks. And so I wanted to one promote the paper and two show how vibrant and how colorful these things come out mm-hmm. when you print them or using my paper printing on whatever uh, polyester material to, to, to print sublimation. And they turned out amazing. Thank you. Oh my goodness! Thank I you. thank you so much for those. Thank you. Now, what about over here? What do we have over here? Yeah, so this is the sublimation paper. Mm-hmm. And so I, you know, it, that was another part of the journey where um, I wanted to have, I, I think for me it's creating, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want a middleman. Yeah. I want to do everything myself. Eliminate the middleman. So, eliminate the middleman. And so I invested in my own paper line, which is this right here. It's been successful. It continues to grow. And I think when I did it is, um, aside from, you know, because I'm from Vallejo, obviously, mm-hmm. is I, I want to bring back into my community, right? But when I look at the t-shirt business or the, the sublimation, paper business I looked around there's no other Puerto Rican men mm-hmm. or Puerto Ricans that have a successful 
it's a Laitian paper line. So I said, I want to be that first one, you know, not only from Vallejo, but the first Puerto Rican dude to have a successful sublimation paper line. Well, I got to give you congrats because you did it. <laughs> you're here, <laughs> you're talking about it, and it's yes. growing. Yeah. Right. So you, I, I'd like to expand on that. You're bigger than just a T-shirt apparel yeah, company. What right. are some of the products that people can expect to see from you? Well, I mean, I, I, like I said, I still print mm -hmm. for, for tons of, uh, you know, artists and, and just, you know, I mean, it could be a contract, uh, excuse me, a construction company. I print for schools. But um, aside from having my own line, I still want people to recognize that you can come to me to have your product printed, um, whether it's a process called DTF, whether it's sublimation. Uh, I'll do vinyl occasionally. Mm -hmm. um, we do embroidery. So you name it, we can do. So I still want to, you know, I, I, I do do that still, aside from being a content creator. So please come to me for your business. <laughs> let, me, let me put it on a shirt. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Now, one more before I let you go. Sure. What has building this business from the ground up, you know, for your child, for you, what has it meant to you to be where you're at now? Um, freedom. I love the fact that I now control uh, where I go, when I go there. Um, not to knock a nine to five at all whatsoever, but I think that I was always destined to be an entrepreneur, a t-shirtpreneur. Um, I don't like the feeling of someone telling me when to take a break, when to take a lunch, how long my lunch, lunch should be. If I'm sick and I want to take the day off, I don't, I don't feel like I want to, again, not a knock to anybody, but being able to, to, to have the control over my life as to where I go um, and being able to spend time with my friends, my family, mm -hmm. just take a simple walk yeah. while having somebody over my shoulder, or, you know, um, that to me is everything. You know, being able to say, um, I don't want to wait till I'm 65 or whatever else. No offense again, but I don't want to wait till then to retire and, and enjoy that limited bit of time. Like yeah. I want to be able to enjoy that now mm -hmm. while doing something that I love to do. Well, you are doing some incredible things. Thank you Thank so you. much, Ruben, for joining us here Thank on Live Thank you for having today. me. Of course.